Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna be doing a try not to get uncomfortable challenge. If you get uncomfortable, you lose. So let's get our Oreo flavored lip balm and let's get started. So again, sorry for not uploading for the, during the weekend. I didn't feel like it. I had some other things I wanted to work on. So let's get on to this video. So this is a try not to get uncomfortable challenge. <laughs> of all the designs you had to use, you had to use this one. I mean, you know, people are gonna fall. I mean, wonder how many people fell trying to trying to do this. Like these stairs, they're not even even. They look like somebody could trip over them. This is not uncomfortable, this is more like awful placement. Like who would put a door like right there? Like it's not here where it belongs. No, you had to place it right here. Right right behind the railing that people used to get up the stairs. That's just awful placement for a door. I'm suing whoever whoever designed this. <sighs> This is more relatable for everybody. Like this one, there's this drawer and it doesn't open all the way. This one makes me, this one makes you angry than, you know, uncomfortable because it doesn't even open like all the way. Alright? Sassalili. Sell 50%, sell 50%. What? No, wait. It's supposed to be like this. Sale. Sell 50%. Sale, sell 50%. But what's the point in stacking sale like this and sale like this? Like, this is not proper paragraph form. Y'all asking for confusion. If you, like, read it this way, like a normal person, it would say, sa sa lili. But no, if you're not normal, you'd read it sale, sell 50%. But so that's awfully designed. Again, another one of these doors. Like, doesn't it look uncomfortable having a door placed above the bathroom? Like, that's an employee's door. Like, how do you expect to get up that? Well, you think that Superman exists? Apparently, the only person to be able to do that would be, like, someone who has really good upper body strength and Superman. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get through that. I know you guys might think this is uncomfortable, but it's not really that uncomfortable. Like, look at this. Fly an insect killer, and it's the exact same can as canola cooking spray. And it's literally the same company, too. Black and gold. Like, you could have come up with a better idea. You're gonna get sued, like, really quick. Again, this awful placement of a door. Like, you had to place a, like... A toilet is placed right here. It's not behind the door like where the toilet should be, but no, you had to place it like right here, like near the sink. I wonder how many people tripped on that toilet just trying to get through that. Gotta have that coffee in the morning. Wow. This is just awful design right here. That's really awful. <coughs> Alright, so this is awfully placed. Like, this is awfully placed here. Like, it, does this make you uncomfortable, guys? Like, I know it does. Like, having a garage placed right here. Right here. Like, I wonder how many people are trying to get their car up that. Like, let me know if this makes you uncomfortable in the comments below. And smash the like button so I know that you guys are still not uncomfortable enough. Because we're going to try to get more uncomfortable. Again. Awful toilet placement. Like, who would place a toilet, like, under here? Does this make you guys uncomfortable? Like, you have to you have to use it. Like, left somebody that needs to, like, take a waz. Like, yeah, I know waz. If you guys watch iCarly and Sam and Cat, I would use waz because it's more... It's more family friendly than saying the P word. I'm trying to make the channel more family friendly. 
Like, we're trying to limit our swing. Like, instead of taking, like, seeing the S word, I would say, shaz. Because, you know, I watch that stuff on iCarly. It's more kid-friendly, you know, even though that show has some adult jokes. Like, in the first episode, where they show Miss Briggs, like, they reference boobs in the iCarly. Like, why? It's a kid show. <clears throat> if you guys see the first episode of iCarly, and how they started the web show before that, you'll know that. Just watch the first episode of iCarly, and you'll see the adult jokes they, they said in the first episode. Like, this is kind of relatable. Like, who would be able to fit a toilet under there? I mean, who would be able to use that? Only a five-year-old would be small enough to use this toilet. Anybody six or over wouldn't be able to use it. I wouldn't be able to use it. I'm, I've just reached my growth spurt. Like, I reached it, like, in, like, ninth grade or something like that. Because I'm still growing. Yeah, I'm still growing, guys. So, I look a bit different than before. I hope you guys like my little hat. It's a cod hat. I wore it in a couple other videos. Okay. Less uncomfortable for me, because this is, this is what, because I'm a male. And males usually make their sandwiches like that. But why would you have a sandwich, like, with the bread, like, the peanut butter and jelly, like, right here? It shouldn't be right here. You're supposed to flip that. Let me know if that makes you uncomfortable as well in the comments below, guys. I want to know if this makes you uncomfortable. Again, awfully designed stairs. Like, does this make you uncomfortable? Like... Not getting up those stairs. Like, there's a dead end right here, and there's more stairs, like, right here. Like, you'd have to go on the second floor. Like, if you, you have to climb up the second floor in order to use those stairs. Like, I ain't got time for that. <sighs> Again, if this makes, if these stair, if these stair photos make you guys uncomfortable, guys, let me know, because I know you're going to feel uncomfortable with these. Like, who would put stairs, like, right here? Did you seriously just put stairs on the roof? Like, you're not even going to make an opening. Like, this is like an awfully designed Macy's. Yeah, this kind of looks like Macy's or... No, wait. Macy's wouldn't have that. Remember, Macy's would be able to afford Gucci. Like, you can get Gucci off Macy's. It's, like, cheaper than going on Gucci.com. This looks like an awfully designed dollar store. Like, look at all the items they have here. This store's probably going out of business. I could see why. <laughs> Look. One, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, did you put an eight, like, right here? Who'd, who would design this elevator? What kind of potato head would design this elevator anyway? And why are all the numbers on? Looks like this elevator is not even going to work. I wonder how many people got trapped in the elevator and they had a call to get help trying to get up out of this elevator. And I wonder if they actually got rid of this elevator because this elevator does not belong. <sighs> Take deep breaths. Don't try to get uncomfortable. Look at that. I mean, just because this is a picture... Because it's just a picture, guys. It's not going to look, like, that uncomfortable. Like, just in a picture. But, like, what if it was real life and you saw this? A lot of people get scared looking down. Which is why nobody would, like... There's an... Like, there's a cliff. The first thing somebody would do is not look down. You know, unlike Tom and Jerry, where you... Where the logic in that show doesn't apply. Where you could just walk on the other side without falling... Because that's cartoon logic. <sighs> Again, awful placement. Alright, this is a bathroom. And what's really uncomfortable for some of you guys is that there are stairs, like, going up here. Like, you couldn't even do a better design. Let's look at all this. I can see why. This, this area must be just, like, abandoned. Like, oh yeah. Look at all the stuff here. They got this door here and these broken tiles. This place was probably recently abandoned. I can see why. They probably had to shut down because of how unsafe it is. Wonder how many elderly people fell and broke their hips trying to trying to get down here to the bathroom. Why would you place stairs that up here anyway? 
That's just awful design and placement. Does this make you uncomfortable? Because not really much for me, because I don't eat pancakes anymore. But what's uncomfortable for some people is that the syrup is like pouring down and it's also on your fork. That is kind of uncomfortable for some of you guys. Not for me, because I don't really eat pancakes anymore. I'm more of a bacon and eggs kind of person, or green eggs and ham. That's only around me. You know, St. Patrick's Day when I eat green eggs and ham. I haven't eaten it since I was like 10 years old. Alright. This is just like so uncomfortable for some of you guys. Not for me, because I don't find this, this stuff uncomfortable, because I know it's not going to be uncomfortable for me, because I never experienced this. But what's uncomfortable for you guys is that there's a muffin. I know that's a muffin. That can't be a cupcake, because it doesn't have frosting on top, because cupcakes have frosting. That's just a muffin. That's a blueberry muffin. Yeah, that's blueberry. <laughs> let me know, guys. If you guys would eat this, let me know. And... But anyways, that's all for today because just do. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button in the face and comment below which one is the most uncomfortable for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button in the face and subscribe to my mobile pack. Ow! I love you guys. And but don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys!